In today's quick tip, let me show you how Gimmick can help you posterize an image. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you why posterizing an image can be extremely useful. Let's say for example that I wanted to extract the main colors of this beautiful sunset image and use them in another painting. Right now, attempting to do so using the original photograph would be very difficult as the colors are blended. However, when the image is posterized as shown here, the colors have been nicely separated as the filter's job is to only display a limited number of tones or colors. The only thing left to do is go to the advanced color docker and click on this button. All the colors have been extracted for me. They are ready to use on my other painting. Now, before to continue, if you haven't set up your advanced uh, color docker to pick colors from images, please make sure to check this uh, tutorial. I will add the link in the description box. Extracting uh, colors is uh, one thing, but you can use the filter for many other reasons. For example, uh, you can use it to extract or copy the colors of different skin tones uh, in a portrait, or you can use it to help you find the shadows and highlights of a landscape. Finally, let's talk about vectorizing a photograph. You can vectorize any photographs you want and create a simplified versions to print a poster or create merchandise. The first step is, of course, to posterize your image. Then, using any available vector tools, create as many vector layers you need above a posterized image layer and start creating vector shapes following the contour of the isolated colors. When you are done, you can merge all the layers into a single vector layer as shown here. As you can see, if I use the Select Shapes tool on the image, it will pick each vector shape I have created earlier. If I click on the Edit Shapes tool, it will show me the path. Finally, if you want to extract the colors of this image, you will need first to get back to the posterized layer. Then you can click on the Color Wheels button as I showed you earlier. Now the great thing about vectorized images is that you can change the colors of your shapes at any time. So give it a try. Alright, time to get to the most interesting part of the tutorial. To posterize an image, it's very simple. Go to Filter, choose a Start Gimmick. In the search bar, type Posterize. Using the preview window, move the sliders until you find the perfect settings for your project. Take your time, there is no hurry here. Just keep trying until you are happy with what you see. If some of you need an outline, be sure to use this outline slider. When done, click OK. And 
end of this has been the quick tip of the month. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.